You guys wanna see something that's been tripping me out? Listen to this. Hear how the radio is squelching out? Now check this out. It's the dang hex grid LED lights that put off so much RF noise that as soon as you turn them back on, it squelches out. It doesn't do it on low though, so if I turn them off and back on, on the lowest setting, it's not enough to squelch the radio, but I can't tell you how much that was rattling my brain when I was parked outside with my plane, with the engine running, ready to take off, flipping things on and off, trying to figure out what's squelching it, and then realize as soon as I taxied up to the driveway, it went away the dang lights. Anyway, it is time that I get my life organized or at least the hangar. So that is the plan. I have a storage and organization system coming from Levrac today. So I need to kind of get things out of the way. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty nice out. Maybe we should do something where we go flying and then come back and do this project. Okay, time check, 8.01. Blinded by the light. Always fun taking off directly into the sun, huh? I couldn't see anything on that landing. <laughs> so, time check. 8.05, took four minutes from my house to buzz up and land on top of an 8,000 foot mountain. That's kind of neat. I want to take off that way, but that's so dead calm. 8,000 foot, that's about a 200 foot takeoff. I best ought not to. better a little air therapy in the morning so like I said this whole wall is gonna get that lever rack storage system which is gonna be awesome I'm hoping I can put the snowmobile up on the second shelf that's why it's out I think I should move all these outlets farther in on the girt so they're not like so they have room for a plug but not gonna hit the rack I also think I'm gonna take this angle off it seemed like it was there for the construction purposes to keep the girts from sagging and they're just gonna be in the way I want to be able to push the rack all the way up against the wall, so that's what I'm gonna start with. Just try to get this place to where it starts to feel like a working, living shop or hangar to where I can actually get stuff done in, so. Outlets are set back. I got rid of those vertical straps. I can see a little bow in the girts, but it's not that big a deal. I'd rather, I guess, deal with the little seeing the bow than having the whole rack stick out an extra inch. And I guess I should uh, probably address the boogeyman in the room. 
Haley's having a Halloween party. Okay, so we finally caught the two big boxes unloaded and got everything spread out. This is quite an erector set and I understand that this is a big storage system, big rack, and there's probably no other way to transport it. But basically, the rack itself is gonna be 12 foot tall, which conveniently aligns perfectly with the upper girt on the wall. Now, the second shelf, which is also what all the sliding drawers or the the trolleys run on is perfectly at the second girt, which again, works out really nice. But now we're just trying to figure out with just the two of us how to basically get two walls stood up and then get the cross members that are very heavy held into place. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring a scissor lift in, lean another one of the uprights up against the scissor lift. Then we can both jump on stools and build the first shelf at seven foot. Put the shelf, like the flat part on it. Then we can stand on that to get to the top and build the top shelf and uh, work our way down. That's when we start building all the sliding parts. So that's the plan. After a solid three days, or I should, I guess I should say a bunch of part days, because I could not get a full day to put into this project, finally have the lever rack system done. So I wanted to show you guys this thing because I'm pretty stoked on it. And I will say, this is the first time, at least in my adult life, that I've had more space than I have crap. So I still have empty shelves in the lever rack, which I think is a good problem to have. So. Just to give you guys a rundown of the system that I got here, basically it's two of the 12 foot lev rack systems. And the, when I say the lev rack system, I mean the part with the sliding cabinets. So the entire assembly is 12 foot tall. And I went with the seven foot tall actual lev rack portion. They make it in an eight foot tall. The reason I didn't go with that is that my skid steer can only lift, I think it's just at eight foot. So I wouldn't have been able to lift things onto the second shelf. And also I would have cut off a bit of the headroom on that second shelf and I wouldn't have been able to fit the snowmobile up there. So that was one of the goals here was to get the, the toys that you only use part of the year up and out of the way. And I'm glad to say that the snowmobile does fit because I was sweating that for a bit. Now, one thing I should mention is that you can tell right here that the snowmobile is actually wider than the lev rack system. That's because I got the three foot wide lev rack system. They make a four foot wide and I wish I would have been able to fit it, but the problem would have been that it would have protruded out into this window because basically the window on the back side of the building is only three foot off the wall. So that is why I went with the size system I did. So basically two of the lever rack systems that are 12 foot, an eight foot workstation in the center. And yeah, I guess I should show you guys what I put in this thing now. As a fair note, I'm sure this is gonna evolve. You know, we just put this thing together last week. Haley had a big Halloween party, so I was, you know, rushing to get things into here and get it all finished before then, so I'm sure things will move and shift around. But the base rundown, the first sliding shelf is gonna be my fishing area. So I basically got all my wading boots, waders, fishing packs on both sides, all the extra supplies, rods are down here, extra, you know, stuff 
down below. I've got the rods on a, a couple of their like gator grip holders. Second one is gonna have snowmobiling gear as well as camping stuff. Although you notice I have a bunch of empty shelves still because I have not yet figured out what I'm gonna fill them with. And then this part is my camera section. So I basically set up a charging station that I can leave all my chargers and stuff sitting out here because I didn't want them sitting out in the workstation. So I figured I could hide them in here. I also got some of their nice like sliding drawer systems in there for more, you know, miscellaneous stuff in there. Got some storage buckets in here for even more parts. But what I love is that I can just close this up so we don't always have to look at all the charging stuff going on. I got the eight foot workstation for now. It's kind of my maker space. I've got both 3D printers out. And then over here, I've got airplane stuff. Um, let's see if I can get this thing to turn on. They're all motion activated, but basically extra airplane parts, Haley's booster seats, extra headsets. I got all my oil and cleaning supplies for the plane. Down there is more cleaning supplies. This side, I kind of got my 3D printing set up going on. This is a little bit of a mess. This drawer is gonna be some old Copter Kids merch. I don't, you know, carry and fulfill my, my regular YouTube merchandise. Uh, that's done somewhere else. Although now I have the space, I guess I could fill out a couple um, shelves with it and do some of the fulfillment here. And yeah, that is the rundown. It's, uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with this system. Now Levrack didn't sponsor this video. They did work with me on these, so thank you Levrack for that. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. They make a really incredible product and I really, I think I'm gonna buy another one of their separate workstation, like rolling workbenches to replace this bench right here. Um, basically they have the same size workbench as that, but it's on wheels so I can move it out when we're prepping camera gear, bring it out kind of where I have this bench right now. The hangar is starting to feel much more complete and I finally have somewhere for all my stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna get things up onto that top shelf. 12 feet high is pretty high. I need like one of those sliding ladders that you'd see like in a library. Maybe I need to build one of those. That should be another project. But before I wrap this one out, I do want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. And for those of you that don't know, Squarespace is the ultimate way to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates crafted into your own beautiful professional looking website that's optimized for both desktop as well as mobile. And it's incredibly easy to use. I'm telling you, no experience necessary. If you know how to use a computer at all, you know how to design a website with Squarespace. And they have features for every industry. So I don't care what it is you're trying to do with your website, be it an online store, personal blog. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, make sure you use code Trent Palmer at checkout. That'll get you 10% off. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this one. And thank you guys for tuning in and watching another video. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.